Hi, I'm Travis Markwood with the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce. You're watching Business Forward, uh, a partnership with uh, Interface Video and Chamber of Commerce. We're here today uh, at Taylor Chevrolet here in Lancaster, and I'm with the general manager, Billy Taggart. Uh, Billy, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Uh, Beautiful new showroom. I know you guys just built a couple years ago, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Thank Absolutely. you guys for uh, thanks for being here. We uh, we completed our showroom in 2011. It's a new image facility for Chevrolet. And I uh, hope you get to see some of it. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful facility here. Uh, again, they did a grand opening a couple years ago, this uh, showroom. We've got a few of the vehicles behind us, a few of the latest models Chevrolet's got out. Um, you know, talk to me a little bit about uh, your facility here. You, I know you've got multiple locations around the state, uh, or regionally, I should say. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you do here, what you carry in terms of your lines of vehicles and the different services that you offer. Sure. Taylor Chevrolet uh, is here in Lancaster. Uh, and also in Lancaster, we represent Nissan and Buick. Mm -hmm. We have a pre-owned, uh, we have pre-owned vehicles. We've got approximately 250 units on the ground right now. Okay. So a pretty large pre-owned operation as well. Mm -hmm. uh, full line of service and parts here in Lancaster mm -hmm. uh, and also a body shop. Okay. So, and then in Athens, we represent Honda. We have a second Nissan franchise. Okay. And then we also represent all of the Chrysler brands. Okay. Well, so you carry a lot of the brands then uh, in, in full service. Again, uh, I'm a customer here, so I've had that experience. Uh, you guys do a that. nice job with, uh, with your service department and the sales, sales folks as well. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about uh, the different cars that you guys carry. I mean, I mean, most people have seen the, the line of Chevrolet cars that are out there right now, but uh, what's popular right now? Well, right now, I mean, if, if you uh, look around with this camera, you can see the all-new Camaro. Uh, behind us here is the all-new Chevrolet Impala, mm -hmm. uh, and then followed by the brand-new Chevrolet Colorado. Uh -huh. uh, and certainly, you know, the Chevrolet Cruze and Equinox have been two of our biggest sellers uh, for the Chevrolet brand. Absolutely, good deal. Um, now, tell me a little bit. Uh, we're in the showroom again. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the staff a little bit. How, you know, what makes up the showroom and the sales department and some and, and, and what you guys do here? Sure. Well, if you had uh, been to our showroom. Prior to 2011, uh, the facility was built in 1973, mm -hmm. uh, so it, it was time. Yeah. And when you come in now, uh, you'll see a state-of-the-art facility. Uh, you'll see a wonderful fireplace on the other side here for our customers. Our customer lounge has completely uh -huh. been reinvented from what it once was. Uh -huh. uh, you notice the flat-screen TV over right. here. Right. Uh, so you know during game day and everything that our customers can still watch sure. watch their sports. Yeah. Um, Good. Now, how about if I'm a customer, I walk in the door, I'm not sure exactly what kind of vehicle I'm looking for. Uh, you know, what's the experience like? What, what you know, how how uh, how are customers treated as they walk in the door? You know, when you come into our dealership, I, I like to think that um, everybody kind of knows each other here. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our customers are on a first name basis with our sales staff. Mm -hmm. So I really think when you come in to tailor, uh, the experience is one of a kind. Uh, we, we really treat our customers very well, and uh, and it shows when they come in. Even when they come in for service, they come up and visit our sales staff. Good deal, good deal. Well, I know we want to take a look at some of the different areas of the facility, uh, one being the service department and the customer lounge. So why don't we head back and take a look at those two areas? Sounds good. Okay, we've uh, made our way over here to the customer service lounge. Uh, again, I'm with Billy Thaggart. He's the general manager here at Taylor Chevrolet. Uh, Billy, talk to me about this beautiful customer service lounge. Uh, this is a really nice area. Thank We're you. standing right here in front of the fireplace. Yep. We've got coffee over here. Talk a little bit about uh, a customer's wait here while maybe they're waiting on their vehicle. Yep. Uh, this is uh, the, probably my most favorite part of our uh, state-of-the-art facility. You can see the fireplace behind us. As mm -hmm. you said, there's a, a coffee and tea bar right there. Uh -huh. We've got free Wi-Fi. We have uh, an area where you can charge your phone. Uh, there's several places to sit. And actually, directly on, on the other side of us is a kid's area uh -huh. uh, that has uh, movies playing all the time, kids' toys, things of that nature. Fantastic. Plenty of reading materials here to, yep. to, to kind yep. of buy the time. That's right. Definitely. Yep, everything from uh, Sports Illustrated to People Magazine. So we've, we've got it all here. Absolutely. And just on the other side of this, I think we mentioned earlier, we've got a big screen TV on the That's other right. side. Yep. Uh, so, yep, we have two uh, TVs in our in our waiting areas so we can uh, keep up on sports and on TV shows. Absolutely. Now, uh, again, I mentioned uh, I've been a customer here and, and had work done on my vehicles. And let's talk a little bit about that experience from when – from the point when you you know you make an appointment for either some warranty work mm -hmm. or or maybe an oil change, uh, you know you pull in the bays here and and folks take care of you. Let's let's walk our uh, audience through that process. Okay. Well, you know, first of all, you can schedule a service appointment with us. Um, 
over the phone, mm -hmm. or you can go online to visit taylor.com mm -hmm. uh, and set up a service appointment. Okay. And when you come up to our service drive, the doors will open for you automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four service advisors that are going to come out and greet you uh, and get you checked in. Mm -hmm. And then depending on what service you're having done, uh, we provide rental vehicles. Uh, we have our, uh, you know, a, a pretty large courtesy fleet of vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can have anything from, you know, an oil change to, you know, right. warranty repair to, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, engine transmission work. I mean, we do it all here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about those services. So we talk, We mentioned a few of them. Uh, anything from, uh, I, I suppose, tires, you do all that sure. here, brake yep. work? Yeah, we sure do. We, okay. we, we do. we absolutely sell tires. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we are a great place to come for that because uh, we can mount them, balance them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you buy a new Chevrolet right now, the first two years of maintenance is included. So when okay. you come in, literally, you come in, check in your car, you sign off on it, yet you don't pay anything. It covers okay. your oil changes and tire rotations. Okay, excellent. Now, I know, too, uh, let's say uh, it's a busy day for you. You drop your car off. Um, sure. You guys will call later on if you're at work or absolutely. whatever, right? Yep, absolutely. You, when you come in, if you want to drop your vehicle off, you can. Uh, if you need a courtesy vehicle, we've got them. Uh, and, and one of our advisors will contact you once your vehicle is ready. And, and actually, yeah, and the other nice part about when you have service done here, mm -hmm. uh, we have a brand new car wash. Uh, uh -huh. And I don't know if we'll get a chance to see that today or not, sure. uh, but it is a uh, brand new state-of-the-art car wash. So all excellent. vehicles that come through our service department get washed. Okay, excellent. That's always nice this time of year too, right? Yeah, sure Good is. deal. Now, hey, let's talk a little bit about your technicians out there. How many bays do you have? Like how many cars can you work on at a time? And, and where are these folks that are working on these cars uh, getting their, their training? Well, we have uh, GM certified technicians. Uh -huh. We have Nissan certified technicians uh, all on the grounds. We have ASE certified technicians. Okay. I mean, we, we cover every area okay. of that uh, from our oil change technicians all the way up to our master certified technicians. Mm -hmm. uh, approximately 17 technicians right now. Okay, 17. And then, yep. uh, again, how many how many bays, how many lifts and bays do you have that there's you can work on cars? Oh, geez, there's probably 25 or so bays that we okay. can, that we all can right. work so on at one time. Work on a lot of cars at one yep. time. Yeah, we sure can. Good deal. Well, I know we want to walk around the facility a little bit more. I know we want to look at uh, really where you pull into the service area and get yep. checked in. We want to take a look uh, at some of the other parts of the facility, the facility as well. So uh, why don't we take a little stroll uh, this way over to okay. the service department. Great. Hi, welcome to the Young Professional Spotlight segment uh, brought to you by Cryo Communication. We're here in downtown Lancaster at Art and Clay. Uh, and special guest today, a young professional here in town, Justin Johnson, uh, Managing Director, Langster Corral. And you've been yep. on the job for how long now? Since about August, so six months. Okay, yep, yeah, about six months. Uh, and of course, Langster Corral shares office space with the Chamber of Commerce. Yep. Uh, so we're, we're glad to, to get to see Justin on a regular basis. Justin, how did you end up uh, working uh, as the Managing Director for the Corral? Sure, so I just finished uh, a degree in Arts Entrepreneurship at Ohio State, and just as I was finishing, got word that Lancaster Crow was looking for somebody so uh -huh. I knew about the ensemble knew it was a great group and just jumped at the opportunity perfect perfect now this the Lancaster Crow has been around for quite some time and had a lot of success over the years a lot of great volunteers a lot of great people uh, like uh, Mr. Trokey, I call him Mr. Trokey because I, I had him in school, uh, you know, running that organization. Everybody calls him Mr. Trokey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, tell us a little bit about what the managing director does for the Langster Corral. Sure. So uh, Bob is the guy at the front of the stage, and I'm the guy at the back of the stage. Yep. So uh, he and I work together a lot to make sure these concerts get going, get off the ground. Uh, when I'm in the office, I'm doing everything from... Uh, designing the posters and the marketing materials, writing the grants, and also sending out emails, sending out mails, making right. photocopies. I do a little bit of everything. Right. Typical nonprofit organization. Yeah. I'm I can attest to that. Right. Yeah, I, I'm the guy. If Bob needs something done, I'm the guy that gets it done. Good deal. So. Good deal. Now, where are you originally from, uh, Justin? I'm from upstate New York. I'm from a small town in upstate New York. I've lived in Columbus for about 10 years. Okay. Moved around a little bit in between. But, yeah, I'm back in Columbus and love central Ohio. Perfect, perfect. Now you reside in Columbus. Tell yep. us a little bit about your family life. Yeah, I live in Clintonville. Uh, recently married. My wife is a bassoonist and she teaches at Otterbein. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have any kids, but we have a small dog and a small cat, and uh, we like it just fine that way. It's like having two kids. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now I know just in conversation, you're involved in, in, in music outside of the job yep. as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the things you like to do after hours or some of the things you're involved in. Yeah, sure. So I'm a performing musician too. I take gigs on the weekends when I can. Uh, I like hanging out at home. I'm a total Netflix addict. Uh, every Sunday, I gotta catch my Walking Dead every night. So um, I like to just hang loose. Yep, absolutely. 
Well, Justin, it's been a pleasure kind of getting to know you here on uh, the Young Professional Spotlight segment. Uh, we'll see you back in the office uh, probably tomorrow or the next day, right? <laughs> <Yeah>, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being on. Yep. As a company of young professionals, Cryo Communications is proud to sponsor this segment. We specialize in helping businesses and organizations get the right message to the right audience at the right time and in the right way. To learn more about Cryo Communications and how they can help you with your communication needs, visit them at cryocommunications.com. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster or 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Business Forward Ribbon Cuttings is brought to you by the Frankie Smith Funeral Home. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Locations in Lancaster and Baltimore. Visit them at their website at funeralhome.com. Okay, we've made our way outside uh, the facility here. We've got the showroom just over our right shoulder. Again, I'm with Billy Thaggart. He's the general manager here at Taylor Chevrolet. Uh, Billy, let's give people the lay of the land here when they pull sure. into the facility lot. Uh, again, I mentioned just over our shoulder is the uh, one of the entrances to the showroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's there's two main entrances to our dealership. The, the south entrance is, comes right off of Memorial Drive, uh -huh. uh, and then the north side entrance comes right off of Edie Road. Uh -huh. If you're coming in from the south side, uh, our Buick Nissan showroom is right down that way. Uh, we're right in the middle of this campus, and actually the entrance to the showroom uh, is to my right here. And then right next to the main entrance to the right. showroom is the entrance to certified service. So literally, you pull right up to the service drive, right. uh, pull right up to the, and the garage doors will open, and you pull right in. Uh -huh. And then uh, north of here is our used car facility, mm -hmm. uh, and that's where we house all of our pre-owned vehicles. Like I said, there's about 200 there. Okay. Uh, right behind you and all in this area, you're going to find all new Chevrolet, new Nissan, and new Buick product. Okay. And then uh, the parts department is behind service here. Uh -huh. And then furthermore, on the other side, in the, the other corner here, is our body shop. Okay, excellent. And you can see, as we referenced a little earlier in the show, uh, the different service ba service bays here. So yep. this is where your car is going to get worked on. That's right. Uh, and again, you're just inside in the comfy uh, customer lounge as yep. you're waiting on your car. Or, That's right. Or at work waiting for a call. Um, talk to me a little bit. Uh, have any idea how big the facility is? Uh, we own a couple acres here, probably three, three, yeah, three, probably, four acres. It's probably more than that. I, yeah. I know that they've got uh, the, the Taylors have um, all of this land here where, where uh, this is, and sure. then also uh, another ten acres north of us. Okay. Yep. Uh, so there's there is plenty of area. There's plenty of area for customer parking. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we've got I would say 600 cars on the ground. I'd say between our new and used inventory. Okay. Uh, so we've got a, a great selection of vehicles, and uh, this is it. Absolutely. Now, are you guys open uh, as far as your showroom goes? To talk, talk to me a little bit about when you're open. Our showroom hours are from 8.30 to 8, Monday through Thursday. Friday we close at 6, Saturday we close at 5, okay. and then once every quarter we open up on the last Sunday of the month. Okay, excellent. Now, I know that you guys uh, also talk a little bit about, uh, gosh, you get involved in the community and yeah. you do a lot of great things in town. Sure. Uh, and, uh, the, you know, the one thing you do, too, is you do kind of a customer service appreciation cookout and things. Is that correct? We do. We, we have a lot of customer appreciation cookouts. Uh, next month is actually our, in March, will be our March Madness, our uh, Hoops, uh, Hoops for Charity, uh -huh. where we'll involve three local charities and allow our customers to take shots with, uh, with our basketball hoops. And every time they make a basket, a donation comes from Taylor to the charity of their choice. Excellent, excellent. 
Well, that's uh, that's great information. It's good to get the lay of the land here. Uh, hey, there's one more thing I want yeah, to tell you. Absolutely. We recently were the first dealership uh, to receive our Heart Safe accreditation yes. uh, from Fairfield Medical Center. So, in any one of our buildings, uh, we have. Uh, automatic external defibrillators in every single building. Yep. Uh, so should anyone be in need, we're ready. That's a great program too. There's a lot of our local businesses starting to do that. So I commend you guys in, uh, in getting that done for sure. Uh, I tell you what, why don't we head back inside? We'll wrap up the show okay. and uh, just provide the audience with just a few more details. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Travis Markwood with the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce. And today, we want to talk about an exciting new program that the Chamber of Commerce is bringing to, not only for its members, but to uh, businesses throughout Lancaster and Fairfield County. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce has embarked on a program called the Business Resource Center, in which we're trying to provide a centralized location for our businesses to get information on how to run their business, how to start up a business. Uh, we really feel like we can uh, bring together all of our resources throughout the Chamber of Commerce and provide uh, a great opportunity for our members to, to, to walk into our office and really get an A to Z, if you will, experience in terms of how to run their business. Um, and as part of that, uh, we are really happy to introduce here coming up in March um, what we're calling our Small Business University. And Small Business University will be a partnership with Action Coach, and I'm here today with Heather Yates. Uh, she uh, works for Action Coach, and uh, they are going to be our training partner for this program, which will be a six-month six endeavor for uh, any member or business that's interested. But this is going to be a pretty extensive training program uh, that will provide some tools uh, that these uh, the folks that participate are going to be able to take back to their businesses and really put to use. <laughs> Heather, do you want to explain a little bit about what we're trying to do here? Yeah, we're really excited about partnering, partnering with the Chamber mm -hmm. and providing education to our business owners and our leaders within mm -hmm. Central Absolutely. Ohio. And uh, the program, like you said, is a um, it's, it takes about um, 12 sessions, so it lasts uh -huh. over six months. Um, participants meet for two hours, um, right. twice a month, and it's really focused on business re-education. Right. So we all learn um, the basics about business and running a business, mm -hmm. and some of our business owners have not had that opportunity. Sure, sure. So re-education means truly focusing on key strategies that will help them grow and manage their business. Absolutely. I know uh, working for the Chamber of Commerce, we run into individuals in, in small mom and pop shops all the time. These folks are excellent at building the widget that they build or providing the service uh, that they provide. But you know, there's not enough time in the day sometimes to focus enough on whether it be you know uh, my financial books or my business plan uh, or my two year plan or my marketing. So all those are things that are gonna be incorporated into this program to give them some tools and skills to help them do that, right? Yeah, and what's exciting about this program is that you know you go to class and you learn something mm -hmm. and then you go back to the day-to-day -day of your business to right. try to make it happen. Right. So what's unique about this Small Business University is that we're going to learn the strategies, mm -hmm. but during the program and during the class, you're going to be working working on your business and working on executing it so that you know you're not going learning it going back to your business getting stuck in the day to day and not right. actually using what you learned right so it's easy to go to a training class and just learn theory and what mm -hmm. I should be doing and but but this is going to be the how to and literally you're going to be working uh, mm -hmm. as a group on these projects like a business plan and things mm -hmm. like that. Absolutely. And what's exciting is that you'll be with other business owners. Mm -hmm. So you can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. You can learn about opportunities that they have tried and strategies that they have tried mm -hmm. and strategies that they've tried that didn't work. Right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so that Absolutely. everybody can learn from each other. Good, good. Now let's talk a little bit about Action Coach. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, this is a world-renowned world, world uh, renowned and recognized mm -hmm. training organization. How about a little bit of facts about uh, who we're partnering with here? Yeah, so Action Coach is a worldwide organization. Mm -hmm. It is the number one business coaching firm in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it is a franchise business. So I am a franchise owner. Okay. I'm a business owner. Mm -hmm. So that makes it uh, even more unique because I don't teach anything that I don't apply myself sure. as a business sure. owner. It was founded by um, Bradley Sugars in okay. um, Australia, okay. um, an entrepreneur and uh, just a wealth of knowledge throughout uh, the organization that uh, we can tap into. 
Absolutely. Well, I tell you, we're really looking forward to this. We really believe this is going to be a true value to a lot of our members and a lot of businesses in our community. Uh, and that's what I'd like to, to make sure that uh, the listening audience understands. Uh, this is definitely for Chamber of Commerce members, but if you're a small business uh, uh, watching this today uh, and it's something that you think could help you in running your business, please give us a call at the Chamber of Commerce at 653-8251. Uh, and we'd be happy to give you more information. Again, we're going to kick off this program in mid-March. Uh, so call today and get some information. Heather, thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to partnering with you. Thank you. All right, we've made our way into... Uh Really, it's an addition here to the showroom. Uh, this is the new uh, vehicle delivery bay. Yep. Uh, Billy, tell us a little bit about what happens in this bay. We've got a we've got a real nice looking pickup truck here. We put that one out for you. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> it, it won't be too long before I need one, right, honestly. Well, but uh, um, but let's uh, let's talk about what what happens here. Uh, you know, I've done my paperwork. I've purchased a brand new Chevrolet from yep. Taylor Chevrolet. What happens next? When you're taking delivery of a new vehicle from us, and like you said, you just finished doing your paperwork, that process takes oh, probably about 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be brought out to our delivery bay, which is where we do a complete walk around and demonstration of features and benefits mm -hmm. of the vehicle. We're going to set up your OnStar, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to have the vehicle full of gas for you mm -hmm. uh, and ready to go. So when you come out, uh, literally this is the area where you go, and then uh, once you're done with that, you leave in your brand new car. Excellent. Now, you mentioned, you know, we'll get your OnStar ready and all these things. These cars come with a lot of technology they these do. days. And I, I know do. I know the last vehicle I bought, uh, we, you know, I thought I was kind of technologically savvy, but uh, we need a little training before we left. Let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, we've got you navigation know. systems. We've got Bluetooth. You know, the, the popular things right now are, and everyone's got a smartphone these days. Yes. So when you have a smartphone, you can literally lock and unlock your car. You can start your car from mm -hmm. your phone mm -hmm. now these days. Yeah. Uh, and Chevrolet is one of the first companies to come out with uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. So now if you're in your vehicle and your kids want to uh -huh. get onto an iPad, and they want to link into a Wi-Fi, uh -huh. uh, we do it. So, That's really uh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty t talk to me about that. Is that a, a separate subscription for Wi-Fi or is this? You know, Chevrolet hot... includes it for uh -huh. a period of time, okay. and then you have the option to extend that and, and okay. pay for it should you choose to. Yeah, that's fantastic. Those, that's great technology. Um, you know, and I know that with some of the new models that Chevy's coming out with, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, uh, fuel consumption and all those things and emissions are always important, and, sure. and they keep, uh, you know, uh, increasing technology to allow, you know, just more fuel-efficient vehicles. You want to talk a little bit about how... Uh, Chevrolet, Chevrolet's doing that right now? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can find, I mean, just uh, all the way across our brands. I mean, we have from the Volt, which right now is getting at 96 miles per gallon, mm -hmm. and it's called EMPG, mm -hmm. uh, but the vehicle itself, I mean, literally you plug it in, right. and it will go for, you know, 100 right. plus miles, Right. Uh, and, and then it'll convert to gas if sure. you haven't had a chance to plug it back in. Sure. Uh, and then if you go away from that, you know, our vehicle's I mean, my goodness, they start around 40 miles a gallon. I believe the Malibu's in the high 30s. Yeah. Uh, and then, and even, you know, in the SUVs and trucks, I mean, they get excellent gas mileage. Yeah, these, these trucks, like the one back here, I'm assuming we've got a V8 vehicle here and a yep. decent gas mileage, right? Yeah, they in really high do. high teens or low 20s yeah. on yep. highway. That's yeah, that's exactly right. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Billy, let's talk to the audience a little bit. Okay. Uh, how do they get a hold of you if they're interested in coming out sure. here? You know, what's the best way to, to get in touch with one of your sales guys or yourself? Yeah, when you call in, you'll you'll reach a switchboard operator. We don't have an automated system. We have someone that answers the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you call into the local number, which is 652-2091, and ask for sales, they'll literally put you through to one of our sales reps or myself or one of my managers may, may answer the phone. Uh, you can also shop online 24 hours a day at uh -huh. visittaylor.com. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, that's, that's the way to do it. Either call in or, or come right in here to 2510 North Memorial Drive. Yeah. I'd encourage everybody to stop in. We've got a beautiful facility out here, a great staff. Uh, Billy, I really appreciated uh, taking a look around the facility. Thanks for having yeah, us today. Hey, thank you for being here. Excellent. We, we appreciate it. All right, folks, that wraps up the show today. Again, you've been watching Business Forward, a partnership of Chamber of Commerce and Interface Video Production. We'll see you next time.